Transylvania University, nestled in the heart of downtown Lexington, is ranked in the top 15% of the nation's four-year colleges by the Princeton Review. Founded in 1780 before statehood, it is the 16th oldest institution of higher learning in the country with nearly 1,000 students. Dr. Seamus Carey is the prestigious university's 26th president, and he joins us coming up this weekend on Connections. And thank you, Dr. Carey, for being here with us. Thank you. We have for a very me. enlightening conversation about liberal arts, and you talk about being an ambassador and an advocate for liberal arts education. And in this brief time that we have, tell us why that is such a crusade for you. I think liberal arts education gives our students the best opportunity to make the most of themselves and of their lives and to be successful uh, as they transition into the workforce. Yeah, and there is a lot of attention, particularly in Kentucky, with steering students even in middle and high school to certain career paths to know where they'd like to end up after college. So is there a balance that you think we should strike with that, uh, you know, making sure that we have a, a highly skilled workforce, but also making sure that they are able to expand their options and their horizons and exposure to other fields? Yeah, a liberal arts education isn't for everybody, uh, but I do th I do worry that we are funneling students to workforce directions a little bit early um, without giving them the opportunity to explore different opportunities and to develop their imaginations and to develop the di the inner dialogue that they might have um, with literature, poetry, science, whatever it might be that the liberal arts education gives them, so that they might find different sets of passions that might lead them to different sorts of careers. What kinds of uh, careers are Transy alum pursuing or have pursued? So we, they do all sorts of things. Uh, we're really well known for our placement in medical school and, and health professions as well as in law school. I think it's 98% of our students that apply to medical school and law school are accepted. Um, and so you'll see them around Lexington, but mm -hmm. you'll also see them around the country. Um, but then we have a whole wide variety of, 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 of areas where students go and shape their careers, and they change careers a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the things that liberal arts education gives our graduates, the confidence to take risks and to, and, and to pursue different careers, even if they have started in one direction. Um, and they want to go in a different direction. And we'll talk in the longer interview about a mentoring program that you've started for alum to get involved with students to kind of help them in that process and build their networks and really give back to the university in ways other than just writing a check. So that's a great program as well, and we'll have our viewers learn more about that during the interview. Dr. Seamus Carey, Transylvania University's president, will be with us on This Weekend on Connections, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on KET2, Sunday in the afternoon at 1.30 on KET, the main channel. And you can watch online anytime after that, KET.org slash connections. Hope you'll join us.